so um, this was last month. Well, let's check out this um this the current um blessing of the abyssal moon keen moon. Um, when a character recovers HP, that character gains 10% increased attack for 10 seconds, maximum 3 stacks. Each stack will be counted independently. When a character loses HP, the character gains 40 elemental mastery for 10 seconds, maximum 3 stack. Each stack will be counted independently. The effect from recovering and losing HP are independent from each other, and stacks are counted independently. Okay. Yep, the Leyland is disorder is different. Where floor 9 is after a character triggers a vaporized reaction, the vaporized reaction damage for that character is, is increased by 50% for 5 seconds. Um Treasure Holders, uh Raycon, Nobushi, Nimble, this is the Hydro Mimic Ball and Large Fire Slime, okay. Uh, Pyro Slime, Pyro Slime, okay. And then we have the Blazing Axe, Meta Chill. Um, nah, this is kind of boring, to be honest. Okay, on to floor 10. Character deals 50% increased damage to opponents affected by Hydro. And. Okay, uh. Patui. Construction, log up, chamber 2, spectres, and some um, the, the enemy mushrooms. Second half a uh, bunch of um, reshap and hatchlings. Chamber 3 is okay, second half moon raider and two aramite enemies. Then floor 11, okay. Um, all party member receive a 60% power damage bonus and 60% hydro damage bonus. Okay. Uh, okay, chamber one is uh, crap. Oh, this is why I don't like uh, target defense progress. This is why I don't. I, I really don't like doing this target defense progress. To be damn honest. But anyhow, let's let's see what it is. Um, lot la large pyro slime, pyro specter, and pyro woofer flower. Okay, so basically. Um, don't bring any fire element on the first half. Second half is um, don't bring any cryo. Long story short, chamber two will be um, stern shield grab bub bubbler seashore thunder helm lava chill. Um, second half um, okay enemies from um, fountain mixed up with some enemies from um, inner zuma and a uh, humongous frost arm lava chill in the second arm. Cute. And then, uh, huh? Why no Geovisha in the second half? Interesting. And then, um, Nobushi and the, the and then the, the the enemies from Inazuma in this first half. Definitely doable. Now, here comes the most challenging part of them all, which is floor 12. I just hope there's no monkey business just like the one in 3.7. That was a bloody mess, bloody fucking mess. Anyhow, let's check um Jingle One first. Bro, what the hell am I looking at? Huh? What the hell am I looking at? Magu Kenki on the first half of Chamber 1? Are you... Are you... What... What in the... <sighs> oh, What the hell? Really? First half already a boss... First half Chamber 1 boss fight. <sighs> this is... This is... This is disgusting. Anyhow, let's um... Okay, second half is um... Tainted Water Splitting... F enemy... Basic... Long story short, lem... Um... Enemies from uh, from Fontaine along with one uh, for maybe one for three cryo, maybe two mages, I'm not so sure. Uh Chamber two. Oh, 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 right, right. The the the, the, the new boss uh, from Fontaine. Or the new boss from Fontaine, yeah. The the Emperor of Fire I mean, yeah, this boss from Fontaine. 
and then the second half are uh, basically um, enemies from um, uh, Haunting and Shinaru, the elite um, enemies. Chamber T. Second half Chamber T better not be a boss fight. If not, I'll be flipping people. Ah, damn it! The second half uh, is, of Chamber 3 is a boss fight the wall. What the shit? Oh, and then the first half are a bunch of minion fights. Ah, oh, gosh. Ah, yeah. Yikes. Alright, 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 alright. Fine. Bring it back. Yes. Oh, Alright, so let's start things off by um, giving um, Floor 9 first. Uh, let's go. Mm. I'll go with the usual uh, set up then. Ayaka, Shunha, Kazuha, and. Uh, what's that one last one again? Ah, Kukumi. Second half will be Raiden. Where the hell is Bennett? Bennett, Xiang Ming Xin I don't want to use my. Um, let's go with this setup for now and see whether I can clear the. Uh, I think Flora is definitely doable, but we'll see. Alright, let's do this. Definitely doable. Definitely doable, put the way I see it. Uh, You remember this is my very first time playing um, Spy of this photo, no? I mistimed my um uh, mind. I mistimed my, my, my rotation right over there, I swapped um, to Kokomi a wee bit too early. <laughs> Give me the big ones. Give me the big ones. Give me the big ones. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Next. Floor 9 Chamber 2. Let's do this. Wait, there's new enemies? Uh-oh. 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 Okay, um... Okay, It's a little bit slow over there, but never mind, I got a job done. Next! Oops! Maybe it should be the other way around. 
Maybe I should have um, swapped uh, Raiden to Chamber. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I should have swapped um, the Raiden team on the first half and the Ayaka team on the second half. But anyhow, let's just uh, move on to the what do you call it? The next chamber. I could have cleared it way faster, but once again, this is my very first time. Clearing this, uh, fire of this. What the hell is this? Where's the other one? Oh, hello there. What? What are Where are you running? Okay, I think that's pretty much, pretty much uh, sums up uh, floor 10. But yeah, uh, yeah, maybe I could have done it way better if I swap um, Raiden, uh, Raiden National and Ayaka Freeze. Where it would be much better if Raiden, uh, Raiden National is in the first half while Ayaka Fleet is on the second half because of the uh, the chamber 2 there were there was uh, the height the height I'm sorry not the height the cryo slime which uh, kind of slowed me down and then there's the um, the cryo slime on the second half of uh, chamber 2 but still I managed to get my job done I could have done it way faster if I should have just had to very swap the anyhow let's just uh, move on to floor 10. Let me check the, the opponent details once again. Uh... Same things. Same thing as um, Flow 9. Uh, what was that? Uh, Kokomi, sorry. Um, Raiden. Bennett, Jamin, Shinshu. Let's do this. How long did I took? Never mind, moving on. I'll check back how long I took post uh, post edit.
Again, a little too fast. I swap in way too fast. Damn. Next! Okay, yeah, miss. Moving on. Opponent details again. Yeah. Same as the last one. Ayaka Freeze consists of Ayaka, Shenhe, Kazuha, and Kokomi. Second half, on the other hand, will be Raiden. Bennett, Jiangling, Xingqiu. Let's do this. At this point, right, I won't be surprised if um, Floor 12 will be the same exact team as um, the same exact team. Anyhow, yeah, let's just focus on. Uh, let's just freaking do this. Who was that? ゆきよ。風の重く Whoa! Eighty-six. Damage on her. Cool down. Freaking cool down. Or did I swap in a little, a little too fast? Okay, I think I swap a little bit too fast. Never mind, I just reserve um, Raiden's um, out for the next chamber for now. Okay, next um, chamber. Oh, 
くままに覚悟天心直走念の表神様にそうなったいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいワンエスケープダメージ。アゲン、アヤカヨアタイキーズ、アリュートゥスロー。
should I put Mago Kenki on? No, 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 Android. Um, should I put um, Ayaka Fizz on the first half? Or should I put Ayaka Fizz on the second half? That's the, that's the question. I see. Uh, Angel or Fire and Fire? You know what? I'll just go with the usual setup then. Uh, I'll just go in with the usual setup for now. If I fail, I fail, okay? Now set. I'll just go in with this at the with this this setup for now. Where Ayaka Freeze on the first half, Raiden National on the second half. First try. Let's do this. I cannot guarantee whether I can clear this in the first try or not. But it's worth the shot, okay? So, um, first off, I'll select the element, um, those. Wait, 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 wait. Save! But us! Wait! Back off! Ha! Miss me, brother. Ow. Okay, they got the job done. But I kinda messed up the the rotation now. Hold on, let me grab the top. Okay, uh now on to Okay, maybe I shouldn't Messed up the rotation! I messed up rotation. I messed up the rotation, dang it. Maybe I should reserve it for the second half. Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe I should reserve it for Chimba 2, but never mind. And yeah, I know um, Simshu was low on HP. <sighs> Why the Simshu's um, who don't have to, to be a stupid ass? Um... Whoa! What the? Messed up the rotation now. I messed up the rotation. Okay, 
Chamber 3, first half. Where's the other three, no? Was there like another one? What the hell? What the hell? Can get the job done. Unfortunately, 
As I mentioned earlier, this is this is one I'm not the perfect one because um, because what died on uh, on uh, on the first half of Chamber Two, but still chop down regardless. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah. Uh, now yeah, let's just get the hell out. Well, at the very least, there's no um, 3.7 uh, monkey business shenanigans. Yep, um, full stars. Okay, so let's start things off with the Ayaka Details, um, Frag Man 42.3%, Free Damage 2, 168 for 5%, and then, uh, yeah, then Cryo Damage Bonus 8.6. Weapon, she's using the uh, Miss Splitter Reforge at um, level 90, requirement rank 1. Artifacts, um, 4 piece Blizzard Strayer. Um, this one has a um, 10% 10.1% crit rate with 10 21.0% crit damage uh, 3.9 crit rate 21.0 crit damage uh, I'll, I'll try to be um, as brief as possible um, crit rate 10.5 crit damage 13.2 um, attack percent sense Coil damage bonus goblet with um, no crit rate but has a 18.7 crit damage Crit damage started with a um, crit rate of 12.8% Constellation 1 Triple Crown Next up, Shen He Shen He's details um, She's basically um, support which where she has a crit rate of um, 41.6 Crit damage 105.2 Energy recharge um, 190.6 She's using her signature weapon, the Lamati Queller at the Common Rank 1. Um, I give her the Poppy's Noblesse. Um, this one has crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, and energy recharge. Because Shen He, the main important thing is um, attack percent and energy recharge. You don't, she doesn't really need crits, personal opinion. Um, Feather with attack percent and crits. Energy recharge sense, considering the fact that she's using a, a signature weapon. Uh, and I feel, yeah, I have to give her the energy recharge because I feel like. Uh, if, uh, because, right, uh, yeah, this attack percent robot doesn't have um, energy recharge. This one has, but I feel like, I feel like it's much more safer if I, if I, I go with an. Um, Energy recharge sense instead of the um, the usual attack percent sense. I mean, I could go with the attack percent sense if I wanted to, but she will not be able to consistently um, prep her, her ultimate, which is why I gave her the um, energy recharge sense. Uh, yeah, but definitely need improvement. Uh, attack percent. With, um, unfortunately, there's no energy charge for the crits. Um, attack percent circle. Uh, this this one is completely fine because there's some um, there's crit, there's crit rate of 7.0, crit damage of 21.8, and energy recharge of um, 4.5. Constellation zero. Talon um, 199. I just because. Considering the fact that um, Shen He is a support right, you don't really have to level up her anymore. Like, you just focus on her elemental skill and her elemental boss. Now, on to Kazuha. Kazuha, um, Kazuha support, what you need to focus on is her his elemental mastery of um, which she has um, 985 and um, energy recharge of um, 249. Crit doesn't matter. Um, he's using the um, Cyber Moonlight. I don't have his. Um, I do not have the Freedom Swan, unfortunately. 
because I'm mean, just a better person than you just okay, okay. for your information and uh, yeah this Cyber Moon Knight is at Reformant rank 5 because I got this weapon while I was pulling for Nilo's signature weapon and then um, 4 piece Reverend the Sand um, this one has e this one has crit and EM crit and EM EM send with um, energy recharge and give it of 3.9 EM goblet with um, energy recharge of 11.7 and crits and EM circlet with um, give it of 7.0 and energy recharge of 16.8 constellation zero talent is um, 8 8 10 actually you don't need um, once again if you are playing Kazuha purely as support right, you don't have to level up his um, normal attack. And I just realized I haven't, um, I haven't fully level up, le uh, maximized his um, elemental skill. But um, long story short, um, just focus on his um, elemental skill and um, elemental force. Just focus, balance on these two. Um, that's now on to the next one. Um, San Gunomiya Kokomi. Details, uh, it just, it just focus on the energy right? because he doesn't really need to do that. And of course, you have to focus on her max HP as well because her healing is based, based on her max HP. Weapon, yes, I got her um, signature weapon. Um, Everlasting Moonglow and Refinement Rank 1. And then um, her artifacts, 4 piece Ocean Hue Clan. Uh, long story short, just focus on um, energy recharge and HP, um, HP percent, um, energy recharge, and possibly um, elemental mastery for them sub stats. Same goes uh, for the Predator um, HP, ER, EM, HP sense with um, ER and EM. HP percent on the with uh, energy recharge and elemental mastery. Healing bonus of uh, yeah, but unfortunately this one has an energy recharge. I might need, I might need to farm a better one. But at least this one has elemental mastery. So once again, I don't see the point of having um, the crit rate is really no no point. I've seen the fact that Kokomi doesn't really need crits. Constellation zero. Um, one seven seven. Yeah, I really need. I think um, once once again, just like um, for every other support, right? You don't really have to level up her number. Right? Just focus on her elemental skill and elemental first. Okay, that's pretty much uh, my team build for Hope, uh, Ayaka Fuis. Let's start things off with Zinchu first. So since you details um energy recharge of um 249%, crit rate 62.2, crit damage 11 um 115 15.3 uh, then uh um, using the um sacrificial sword at the diamond rank 4 it'll be much better if it's at the diamond rank 5 for consistency for the sake of um consistency but I think with diamond rank 4 it should be fine. And then he's using the 4 piece emblem of um, Soviet fate. Um, fate. It would be much better if there's some energy recharge. Just like this one, but defense kind of. This one has strength defense, but long story short, the main, the main important thing is um, energy recharge and fate for Sin Chiu. Energy recharge sense with um, EM of 42 and crit damage of 79. We must have played this good video. Hydro damage bonus, um, no energy recharge, but at least there's speed rate of 32 and speed damage of 5.4. Speed rate 31.1, no speed damage. Uh, I'm sorry, no energy recharge, but at least there's EM and speed damage. I'm just making use with, of, of what I have. Constellation 6, um, no more attack. Um, 6 um, Elemental skill level 9 Or uh, elemental boots At level 12 Next up Jiangling um, 
EM 171 he made 26 for 8 he damaged 133 energy recharge 217 yes yes I mean he's using the um the ca the catch at performance rank 5 and one of the best FTP weapon ever artifact um 4 piece emblem would be much better if there's um yeah, Once again, I'm using um, whatever I have. I'm coming when the emblem domain for a lot knows how long, and I still don't, don't get a legit good not perfect but great because it lacks lacking the um, energy in charge then uh, yeah it would be much better if this one is pretty once again I'm making this is what I have on station 6 and then this is um, 6-12-12 12. next up is Bennett um, he plays 6-4, 3 damage 116 and then he recharge 205 uh, he's using the Aquila uh, Pogonia because he um, has highest base attack weapon 4 piece um, no blast Choose and pick the best one. Uh, three three one, one and energy recharge of nine point seven. Energy recharge eleven point seven. Uh, four point one. Kid rate ten point one. Kid damage eleven point seven. Energy recharge sand speed. Um, kid rate of three point nine and kid damage two. Power damage bonus covered kid um kid rate six point two and kid damage two. Lastly, um, quickly circle the uh, damage of the hit and then you try to press this too. Constellation C6, Salon, um, 1, 9, and 13. Lastly, on to Raiden Shogu. Details, um, Speed rate 54.0, speed damage 165.8, energy recharge um, 256, weapon, uh, it's a signature weapon, the Nolfing Lightning at requirement rank 1, artifact 4 piece emblem, uh, energy recharge, um, right and right, in order to maximize her um, her damage by year. Her reply, her subset is, is very way much more strict than other characters where you're gonna need energy recharge, crit rate, and crit damage, and possibly attack percent. So this one has um, energy recharge of 6.5, crit rate 7.0, crit damage 24.1, and the feather is um, Energy recharge 16.8, crit rate 3.1, crit damage um, 30.3, attack percent sand, um, energy recharge 9.7, crit rate 7.8, crit damage 21.8, electro damage bonus goblet that has a um, energy recharge of 11.7 and a speed damage of 13.2. Will be much better if this one has And lastly, um, crit rate circlet that has uh, an energy recharge of 25 and crit damage of 26.4. Constellation 5. One step closer to and she's and that is my riding uh, national team and that wraps up my spiral abyss 4.0 run so what's